ladies and gentlemen, we have now reached the offseason before the 2022 NFL season. The Super Bowl has happened, but free agency and the draft have not yet. And right now, Brandon Bean and his other top executives will be making cutthroat and big decisions regarding the future of this Bills team. The Bills need to improve in a couple of big areas if they want to win the Super Bowl next season. In today's video, I will break down those big needs for the Buffalo Bills as they head into the 2022 NFL season. The biggest need by far for the Bills is to get younger along the defensive line. The Bills need to offload heavy and expensive veterans like Jerry Hughes, Mario Addison, F.A. Obata, and Vernon Butler. They need to add more dynamic talent alongside younger guys like Greg Rousseau, Ed Oliver, and even Harrison Phillips. Brandon Bean needs to add a headliner on the defensive line, as we've seen with the past two Super Bowl champs, dominant defensive lines with some big names have been able to win it all. Who could the Bills add that would fit this mold? Now, a guy like Von Miller, Akeem Hicks, or even Melvin Ingram all fit the mold of a big-time veteran that can add a lot more dynamic playmaking abilities than Jerry Hughes has been able to. Another need for this Bills team is to upgrade at the running back position. Despite a resurgent season from Devin Singletary and another consistently good rushing year from Josh Allen, the Bills need to add another consistent running back to the fold. They just did not get enough from their backups in Matt Breda and Zach Moss over this last season. Zach Moss, speaking of him, needs to be let go as he has been a bust in his first two seasons in the NFL. He only averaged 3.6 yards per rush last season and only scored four touchdowns. Reminder that Zach Moss was brought in to be a very good goal line specialist and he has not been that in quite some time for the Bills. While Devin Singletary had a strong end to the season, the Bills need to put a more consistent rusher that can lighten the load for Josh Shannon. And potential targets to alleviate that pressure could be guys like James Conner, J.D. McKissick, and others. Guys who can catch the ball out of the backfield, very good in the spread formation, and honestly, both of these guys fit that kind of narrative. The Bills also need to get more cornerback depth as they cannot rely on Tredavious White and Levi Wallace to be there consistently every week, day in and day out. And Levi Wallace may also leave in free agency to get a pay raise from another contender or an even smaller team. Now, the Bills cannot let this happen firstly. They need to keep Levi Wallace in the fold. He's been very good in his CB2 role. Now, there needs to be somebody behind him and a potential fallback in case Wallace does leave. And that is where Brandon Bean needs to focus his attentions in the draft on drafting another cornerback. If you were to look for some veteran options in free agency to potentially alleviate this bad gaping hole in the Bills defense, he could go after guys like Traverius Ward, Dante Jackson, who had a good season with the Carolina Panthers, and even Russell Douglas of the Green Bay Packers. Another need for the Bills, while not as big as the others, is for the Bills to get a new punter. Matt Hack wasn't effective at all with the Bills in his first season after coming over from the Miami Dolphins. He had career lows in average yards per punt and net average per punt and punts that fell into the opposing team's 20-yard line or beyond. He just wasn't good and we saw that in many games during the season where he wasn't able to effectively flip the field and give the other team bad field position to start out their next drive. He wasn't consistent whatsoever and the Bills really need to upgrade from him. Tell me in the comment section where do the Bills need to upgrade on the most. Thanks anyways, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and see y'all in the next video.